What's up everyone, it's Rick here at UTV Source. We're in Jay, Oklahoma at the UTV Takeover event, Mid-America. We ran into Colton and his 2016 Yamaha YXZ. That is not stock. So tell us all about this thing. First off, man, we built this thing from the ground up, me and my brother. We wrecked it in Oregon, decided to go to Avid and get their front end kit. It's super sick. We've got three quarter inch Himes on the upper A arm, custom spindles that are double sheared everywhere. It's beef. It's so beef. Yeah, it's big. It relocates the shock to the bottom A arm. This thing is so tough. What's the track width? 77 inches. So we had the Avid UTV kit on our Yamaha YXZ stock replacement 64, 64 inch. Yeah. And, and it made a huge, huge yeah. deal. We have about five miles so far on this on this setup, and it's insane. So complete front kit, and now stock diff, all that stuff. Yep. Turner, Turner axles, extended and, length yep. axles. Gotcha. Same brakes. Same brakes. Stock yep. Brakes. It, it comes with an upgraded spindle, but everything, your hub, your brake assembly, it all stays the same. So it's super easy. And it's it's not just the Avid UTV kit. You've added a lot of like additional tubes and structure oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. for jumping this car. Yeah, this is yeah. not your typical YXZ. Yeah, it typically has uh, 2.5 inch King bump stops in it. We don't have them. We didn't get them put in this for this event. You don't need them for this yeah, event. Yeah, and we were putting it together, pulling it in the trailer, bringing it here. Gotcha. So, so the Avid UTV kit comes with the shock mount up top. Yeah, yeah. You guys added some more gussets. Yeah, so they also come with a front bumper that comes up and gussets it. We didn't use that for now. Um, so we just gave it a couple more gussets on their shock tower just to make sure we were good for the weekend. Yeah, because you have flown how far at an event? Uh, well, and landed. 154 was in Utah and landed. It was 160 something in Oregon and piled it up. Is that's the? Yeah, that was the. The wheelie looking jump. at the sky. Yeah, yeah, we got some great footage yeah. of that too. Yep. So, well, kind of covered the front. Now, is this a custom cage, aftermarket cage? This what do you got going? A LSR cage. LSR at cage. At first, okay. But we have cut it up and modified. It, yeah, modified a bunch. It's welded on, it's so it's welded. not coming off. Bolted and welded. Yeah, we just it was a lot of work to take all the bungs out and gotcha. try and put it all back. It is in. a lot of work. So it was something that we just welded on and and then inside and you've got uh, you've got like a full kill racing seat yeah this is a Kirky racing seat it's so important when you're jumping yeah I try to it reiterate that to people it's jumping. a big deal like it's, it's no, huge it's no joke out huge there. I mean I took that hard pile up and I was completely fine yeah you're contained in there you yep. got PRP harnesses yep five point harnesses I run a Hans device very very good it's and then a, it is this a uh, it's a drift brake it's not hooked up right now because okay. we just rebuilt the whole car in a couple of days so moving on to the back. Moving on to the back. Yeah, this is uh, pretty interesting. Yeah, it's a, it's a crazy kit. It's wide, bro. It's so wide and so long. This, I think it's from center axle to center axle is a 107 inch wheelbase now. Damn. So that really, that puts it up there in like the Polaris 2 I think seat. it's I think it's longer than the Pro R2 seat. Well, the trailing arm is mm -hmm. what makes the Pro R so great, along yes. with the suspension yep. and the chassis. But everything that's been added on, yeah. this is where your factory Yamaha would stop, about yep. right here. Yeah, so this is all it's additionally all, added? Yep. Is that custom? It's about a 14 inch, yeah. So that's Avid's kit. It comes pre-welded. This whole kit comes pre-welded, and you just stick it up there and weld it on. And it comes with everything. Everything, you, the only thing you need is Can-Am knuckles and Can-Am brake calipers for the rear. That's Can -Am it. Can-Am knuckles on the back of the Yamaha YXZ. Yep. So the trailing arms, I don't know, I'm five foot seven. Those are about almost four feet, maybe a little longer. Yeah, they're, they're long, they're long. And it's billet? No. The back, that back section is billet. And Who, then they just- Who's that? That's, that comes with the Avid kit. Holy- So all that is Avid. Smokes. And it grabs and like mm -hmm. locks in and locates and inside that, yeah. the trailing arm. The the clearances on those are so tight. Get a zoom in on this. It is insane. that is that's impressive. It's so impressive. It's I've never seen that. I've heard about the the Avid UTV long travel kit. 
I kind of wanted to do to our Yamaha YXZ. So they've got a couple, but this yeah. is like the, this yeah. is kind of bougie, dude. Dude, this is insane. It's, it's a great, great kit. Damn. And then you got your color scheme. I noticed this is kind of your deal. It's like yep. an aqua seafoam, green, yeah. blue, teal with some pink. Yeah, we grew up riding the early 90s jet skis. Okay. And that was how we grew up. So it was kind of like one of those things where we went back to our our roots, you know, with the color schemes. You're having some fun with this thing now. Oh, yeah. Some people are probably going to ask, why is it sitting so low right now? <clears throat> well, he just got here. This basically, it was a mad dash to get here to Mid America. Yes. It's a long trek from Utah to Oklahoma, yeah, and uh, you made it, you brought the car. It still needs a few things tightened mm -hmm. up, you know, but it's set low, because out here it's all short course. Yep. There's and no big hawk, yep. no big jump, which means this thing is gonna go back on the trailer. Oh yeah. Should. Should. Because <laughs> they're not letting you better go back on the trailer. <laughs> now, aside from all the suspension, I noticed you got a massive radiator cooling yeah. system. Obviously, you got a turbo. Yep, we've got a turbo. The motor's completely built. Uh, Packard, it, we were having a lot of trouble getting it to run right, and Packard came in and really, they really nice killed stuff. it. They did a, the uh, intake plenum. Okay. Um, billet one. Billet intake plenum, their fuel rail injectors, their intercooler setup, and then they went and tuned the car for me, and it's just been running great since. No I've problems spent, at all. Yeah, I've spent about eight months trying to get it running right. Couldn't and, get it. And what do you think you're pushing on horsepower now? Um, we're very low. I think we're only on like nine pounds of boost, and it's like 190 ish wheel horsepower. So it's really like 250, 260 to the crank? Probably maybe? somewhere around there. Because yeah. you lose a little bit. This is a real transmission. This is a yeah. shift car, right? So yes. it's a 16, you gotta pedal. push the three pedal. Yeah. Three, three pedal, pedal jumping. This thing's dubbed. I know people are really excited to see the UTV takeover athletes out mm -hmm. here. Now, what I wanna know is how did you get started in all this? Like, Man, back in the day, we bought a Yamaha Rhino 660. <laughs> like, when there wasn't anything else, you know? Yeah. And that was where we went first. And then we sold our basically stock one and bought a Rotax swapped Ooh. long travel Rhino. Snowmobile motor. Yeah. And then they just progressed. So year after year, I ended up buying this. I always wanted one in about 2017, 18-ish. I yeah. bought this and it was completely stock. Just an MPI turbo kit on it. Just. Yeah. Just. And Man, it was so much fun to drive. It's a driver's car, right? It's a driver's These are car. not easy no, to drive. They you gotta not. wanna drive it. They're not easy to jump, they're not easy to drive. Well that how did it lead into jumping <laughs> YXC? Because that's not this is not the car you take to a Hawk Fest or no. a, a, a UTV takeover event and send it. It's just yeah. they don't fly well, they're not made for it. Mm -mm. But you're winning. Yeah, I uh, you know, I actually had the car up for sale, took it out to the dunes. The, it was gonna be my last ride and we were just sending it. And it was like so much fun and I called my wife, hey, let's keep the car. And build it. And then we sent it too big that week and, I, and it tweaked my back a little bit. And I was like, okay, if we're gonna keep doing this, we need to build it right. So we tore the whole car down that winter. And so then it just progressed. You learned a lesson through all the, the yep. big mistakes, let's call yeah, it. Yeah. And, uh, but now it looks like it's, you've got a well-built machine. Oh man, this thing's safe. You got the proper safety equipment yep. in there. All right, Colton, I appreciate your time today. And yep. uh, this is your opportunity to give some shameless plugs, you know, yeah. to the people and the companies that got you here. Mm -hmm. So uh, let her rip, dude. Yeah, first and foremost, Whiskey Throttle Crew. I mean, we couldn't do it without them. We pulled a 17 hour shift Saturday before we came. In, we stopped at working at 3 a.m., packed up at noon on Sunday and headed here. Um, my wife, you know, Big doing could today. never do it without her. She takes care of everything at my house, keeps yeah. my kids in line. Yeah. She's amazing, amazing woman. Um, companies, I mean, Packard, they, they just kill it with me. I don't have the rims and tires on now, but man, <laughs> they are sick when they're on. <laughs> they're fancy. Um, yeah, TakeOver, you know, they've been so good to work with us this year. It's, it's amazing. Um, and Avid, we just started working with Avid and I'm just so impressed. Yeah. Every time George, I need anything, George just hops right on the call with me. Yeah, he's good. He FaceTimes me whenever I need anything. Like, he was there. He worked his butt off to get all the parts here so we could get the car to take over. It's an undertaking. It is. It, you can't do it by yourself. No. It's, it's an entire team. And, absolutely. You know, it takes a lot of help. I have our team at UTV Source that does other things so I can build the cars mm -hmm. at my leisure and even at my leisure. 
it, it, it's a lot of work, yes, guys, to get is. to that level and, and then to make it all the way out here. So I appreciate it. I'm sure your fans appreciate yeah. it. Well, let's uh, let you go and yeah. uh, get ready for your event. So. Sweet. You guys, we got you covered at UTVSource.com. Go open a garage on the website, stack it. You can have the same parts as this man's got. You may not have all the fab skills out there, but uh, you may have a buddy that can help you along the way. On that note, we're gonna get out of here and get to the rest of this event.